I thought I'd come outside and talk to you about uh, where I'm at with writing my book, Music, Painting, Landscape and Me. Well, I've, I really have started writing it now. Uh, I've got uh, one chapter uh, completed. It's about 8,000 words long. And I also have this uh, thing that I've called the list, which uh, is now, I think, nearly completed, which is about 14,000 words long, so really quite substantial. The list, um, I suppose in book terms, would uh, correspond to a chapter, but really what it is, is a sort of, uh, it's the workings of my mind, it's a kind of stream of consciousness that has developed since I started thinking about this project uh, quite a few months ago. And basically the way I've compiled it is to write down thoughts, questions, propositions, assumptions, fears and anxieties, um, approaches, all sorts of things uh, over the um, months that have passed when I have these thoughts. Um, and although the list isn't presented in a logical sense and it's not presented necessarily chronologically and I have gone back and adapted certain things. It does really uh, symbolise and represent my thought processes throughout this process and I, I very much see it as the beating heart of this book because nearly everything that's going to come into chapter form is going to be represented or discussed, hinted at um, will have some representation in the list in some way. So, as I say, at the heart of everything is this, uh, this, this list. Now, when I say a list, it is numbered, and the numbers are there more for referencing than for chronology. Chron chronology. Um, so, yeah, it goes one through to about 470. In some cases, these things in the list are single statements, single questions, not, not, you know, nothing very complex at all. In other instances, there are sequential paragraphs, some paragraphs really quite extensive, depending on the thought that I'm dealing with. So when you read this, it sort of jumps all over the place sometimes. At other times, it is fluid and continuous. The ideas do not necessarily follow through from section to section, but what it creates is a kind of picture of the activity that's going on in my mind and has been going on in my mind throughout the process. And as such, I think it's a reflection of the, the challenges and the foundations uh, behind which the writing is taking place. I'm also attempting to approach this as a sort of, um, yeah, as a work of art in its own right, as, a, as an artefact, and as an artefact, so that the processes that I undergo in writing the book are reflective of the processes that I undergo when I paint and when I compose. So that instead of just writing about the stuff that I do, I'm also attempting to write in such a way that it reflects the processes in what I do. The big challenge with writing this book is my relationship to subjectivity. Everything, nearly everything that I'm going to be talking about, writing about, thinking about, is all self-referential. It's all subjective. It's to do with what motivates me to do what I do. It's about how I read the landscape, how I interpret it, how I experience affect, um, what triggers affect and how I think I may be able to transmit some of that effect through my work to other people. 
although I realize that transmission is most likely not going to happen in the way that uh, I would aspire to it happening. So without any kind of external verification, without any empirical measuring of the things that I'm saying, because a lot of the things that I'm dealing with are very difficult to get a handle on. Uh, some of them are sort of imminent, they belong to the moment. Uh, most of them are irreducible to language. So very, very difficult to express in words. Nevertheless, the effect that they have upon me as an artist are um, very, very strong. And it is those effects that motivate me to make work. So trying to, well, the, the, the ongoing problem is trying to separate myself from myself whilst observing myself. It's trying to be objective about what I'm thinking and feeling as I'm thinking and feeling it. It's almost impossible. Well, I would say it is impossible to do that. One cannot separate oneself from oneself. You always look at the things around you and the way you experience them through various filters and lenses, through the knowledge you have of yourself, of your time, the received wisdom, the theories, social conditions, um, creative uh, conditions, the epoch. Um, everything contributes to a framing of the way we think and the way we comprehend, the way we do, the way we observe, the way we perceive. So in that case, true perception is, is kind of just not going to happen. Not true perception, sorry. True objectivity is not going to happen with regards to what I'm writing. I'll be as honest as I can. I'll be as relevant as I can. I will discuss things in detail. I will analyse them in the best way that I can. I will try to cut out any metaphysical ramblings. I will try not to fill the void around the lack of empirical evidence with fluff and self, uh, self-satisfied waffle. But saying all of that and putting all those safeguards in place and saying that everything that I will write will in some way be influenced by other things, it, it isn't sufficient to put me off. Um, I realise it's a real challenge to do this. And I'm hoping that the act of writing the book, um, thinking very closely about these things, will help to clarify some aspects of what I'm doing, in my own mind at least. And I'll do my very best through the writing to transmit those thoughts uh, to other people. Of course, there's no guarantee in what I write that anybody else will, will get it. Um, and why should they? Why should you? Why should anybody else get it? We all perceive the world in different ways. We all construct our own realities. Our perceptions, though rooted in our cognitive and nervous systems, do vary from person to person. We don't all see the world in the same way. And we filter what we perceive neurologically and mentally and conceptually in very, very different ways. So I'm trying to reconcile my reality as far as I can with what I perceive to be the physical reality out there and communicate that to you through your own realities. So as you can see, it's a challenge. Um, but so far I'm really loving doing it. It's, it, it, it's very exciting and it's, uh, it's a true voyage of exploration. So let's see where it goes next. But the ship has been well and truly launched and it is now going out on its maiden voyage of writing. So I'll speak to you next month and in the meantime, keep well. Bye bye.